Huzzah Gaming! Hello everyone, Haza here. Yes, it's me, I'm back. Boo, you stink! Boo, you suck! Where's Luigi Reacts to SMG4? Yeah, well, shut up. So there are only like two more months until Sonic Frontiers comes out. Let's see if I can make a video about it. The newest trailer for Sonic Frontiers has created a good reception among the Sonic community. I personally think it looks great, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. It's about Super Sonic. This is the first time since Sonic Generations where Super Sonic is relevant to any story in any Sonic game. They stopped doing that since Generations, and they just throw in Super Sonic instead of having a Super Sonic finale like Sonic Unleashed did, or even Generations. You even get Super Sonic right off the bat at the beginning of Forces. What's the point of that? But seeing Super Sonic playing a big role in the story is both amazing and also interesting. Why? Let me explain. It looks like you get Super Sonic early in the game, but later in the trailer, in the desert island, one of the enemies sucks up your Chaos Emeralds. So does this mean on every island you have to collect the seven Chaos Emeralds multiple times on different islands and go Super Sonic for different final island bosses before moving on to the next island? Maybe. I guess you could say this is going to be like Bowser's Fury, where you get to be Giga Cat Mario on different islands to take out Bowser. And I'm not going to lie, that is actually a nice change. But what fans are theorizing is that Super Sonic is not going to be Sonic's final form in the final boss. No, people think he's going to get a new form at the finale. And that red corrupted arm from the trailer can be foreshadowing. Imagine Sonic being fully corrupted by whatever Sage did to him to the point he can go crazy, like in a bad ending or something. Imagine this game having multiple endings. I don't know if that's the case or not, but I can't say for sure. We'll have to wait and see. But with a new style like this and the game's new villain, could this be Sega's chance to redeem themselves to make a great Sonic game? I will admit, when the IGN gameplay trailer came out, it felt like an empty Unreal Engine map. But when more trailers came around, oh boy, it changed my mind. This game actually looks amazing so far and there could be hope for the Sonic franchise. Normally, I'm always a Super Mario and Five Nights at Freddy's fan, but I am a fan of Sonic. Not a hardcore Sonic fan, I barely collect Sonic's merch that much, but I do play the games. Heck, I even enjoy playing Sonic Heroes and, yes, even Shadow the Hedgehogs. I know this game was bad, but it could be a guilty pleasure for some people. Back to Frontiers. I see this game as having a lot of promise and potential. A free open world game with cyberspace levels and a new dark turn for its story and the possibilities are endless when it comes to how good this game can be. Hell, literally a day after the Nintendo Direct, Sega released a new trailer for Frontiers. It's like Sega is saying, eat your heart out, Mario. 2022 is pretty much a dead year for Mario. We did get Strikers, and we're getting the Mario Plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope game in October. But besides those, we haven't gotten a new mainline Mario game, nor a trailer for the Mario movie. But... We're not talking about the Mario movie. If you want to watch me talk about the Mario movie, then I would suggest you check out my last essay video of the history of Mario's movies, featuring No Name the Guy. I would recommend you guys go check it out. It's like Nintendo is hiding this movie in shame. Because they're scared the movie is going to get trash talk a lot. But Sonic in 2022 has been crazy. We got the Sonic the Hedgehog movie sequel. We got Sonic Origins. We're getting Sonic Prime in December. And now here we are, Sonic Frontiers in November. It's like Sonic Team is taking the stand of making Sonic the best he can be, which I think is a great thing. Could this be a brand new start for Sonic's future? Will Sonic Frontiers save the franchise? The answer is... I don't know. We don't know the answer until Frontiers comes out in November. So let me know your thoughts. Is Sonic Frontiers going to save the Sonic franchise? Or is it going to end up as the rest of the bad Sonic games like Sonic 06 and Rise of Lyric? Let me know in the comments below and I'll totally be playing this game when it comes out. It looks promising to me and I am looking forward to it. Hey, if you reached the end of this short video, well, you made it. I'm sorry if this video is pretty bare bones. I'm not the best at reviewing. I just like what I like, that's all. But thanks for watching anyway. I will do more videos like these in the future if I have more ideas for it. Please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. It's free and easy to do. Just click the subscribe button and leave a comment below. And, oh yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Hold on to the bees, y'all. Woo!